Well, hello, Internet, and today I'm going to go through a review of some of the nice new features that are available with Photoshop CS5. It seems that the Magic Lasso, which you can see up here, has become vastly improved over the previous version of Photoshop. As you can see, I'm able to easily select the shark, even though the, the color of the water that surrounds it is very similar, as you can see there. Also, you can see this crack in the glass. I want to improve upon that and fix that up. So I'm going to click on this healing brush, which is over here. It looks like a Band-Aid. And I can, by clicking Option Alt, make a selection that I want to be able to fill in here. And then come in and it will automatically heal this crack, as you can see there. Completely deletes it as if it never even existed and then smooths itself out. Very, very nice. I can also make the correction here on the shark's face. Again, smooths it out so that you can't even see that it was there in the first place. So the healing brush is a very nice addition and it works very, very nice as you can see. Another addition is the ability to delete objects from photographs. I selected the elephant here and whenever I do a fill, and choose the option content aware, it's automatically gonna take a sample of the background and make the elephant disappear and fill in a sampling from the background. And as you can see, where the elephant used to be, and now it's not there. Automatically filled in information from the background to make the elephant completely disappear. Now there is some discrepancies in color, but with different editing and feathering and so forth within the underneath of select and modify, you can easily make those color discrepancies go away. And also you could use the healing brush we have over here to further refine this image. Now I'm gonna show you another nice tool available within Photoshop. From what you're looking at, you might not be able to tell that a lot of this work back here is actually done using the Photoshop brush tool. As you, I zoom in though, you can see that this is brushwork and it looks like a photograph, but it's extremely easy to be able to edit this, as is this polar bear. Just click on the brush tool. I specifically like the mixer brush tool and that's what I used here. And I can go in here and choose wet heavy mix, which is a very nice. I can use a whole bunch of different brush options. I'm gonna use the fan brush here. I'm gonna increase the size of my brush and if I go in here and paint, it automatically will make this look like brush strokes. And it, and it also figures it all out for you so that you don't have to spend an immense amount of time going into detail. But that detail is definitely available to you. Sadly enough, I do not have a Wacom tablet, so I am not able to take advantage of some of the features that would be provided there. But you can see it really is a very nice feature that's available and it allows a person with basically no artistic ability to easily go in and edit a photograph and make it look pretty nice. Now you can see here I actually this is a photo of my baby. If I zoom in you can see it looks very much like painting. This is the original kind of blurry photograph and in about three or four minutes, I was able to go in here and customize and clean up and make this picture look really original and nice. Another nice feature is how easy it is to be able to implement and mess around with 3D in Photoshop. I have some text here. I'm gonna click on this 3D tool that's available over here. And I'm gonna click on Create. It's gonna tell me that it needs to rasterize the text. I click Yes, and now, there's all kinds of different ways for me to manipulate 3D text or pretty much 3D anything within Photoshop. And I could also mess around with these little guys up here. I can add different beveling effects to the text. I can mess around with depth. I can twist the text around, as you can see. I could bend it and do all kinds of wild and crazy 3D things, as well as apply different textures. In this case, let's say I wanna apply a texture just to the front of the text, I can do that. Or 
I can apply textures to just the side. Another neat feature is here I have a cutout picture of a giraffe. And if I go under edit and click on puppet warp, I can place pins on my giraffe and easily be able to manipulate that giraffe. Make his head bend downwards, bend backwards, so forth and so on. Quite easily, you can see here, apply. It automatically just figures out exactly how to bend whatever animal or person or what have you that you have inside of Photoshop. So those are some of the neat, neatest little features that are available within Photoshop. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial review, what have you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Till next time.